I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. As more organizations deploy IoT applications in their data centers and clouds, they're going to need their application delivery controller to understand the unique protocols that IoT devices use to communicate. A couple weeks ago, we drew out how Message Queue Telemetry Transport, or MQTT, works just in general. I'll put a link if you missed that video. And this time, we're going to look at how the IoT protocol MQTT works on the big IP. Just MQTT. Now, as a quick refresher, MQTT is a lightweight subscribe and publish messaging protocol that allows IoT devices to communicate with each other. And devices, let's draw out our connected devices. And so we have a weather sensor, maybe a health device. We have, maybe you can't tell by my drawing, but we have an automobile. And then another sort of sensor gear, what have you out there. And so um, the clients can publish to and subscribe to particular topics within the MQTT protocol. And so these would be our connected devices publishing to certain topics. And so this goes MQTT to the big bad internet. Um, MQTT also supports uh, encryption, TLS and SSL. So let's draw our big IP right here. And so as the traffic comes in, this is our SSL tunnel. First off, we can terminate that encrypted traffic on the big IP. And so we would terminate the encrypted traffic and big IP being a full proxy, full proxy, we can then examine and in inspect that data as it goes through the big IP and being a full proxy will create another TCP MQTT connection on the server side. And then back here, and we'll just do our database stuff, would be your MQTT broker. And when you watch that other uh, video, I actually spelled broker wrong. It's a little hidden gem. Oh, yeah. And these MQTT brokers would actually be your pool considered your pool on the big IP device. And so traffic comes in, we'll terminate SSL right here um, on the outside interface, so terminating the encrypted traffic. On top of that, from a security standpoint, we can authenticate these devices. And so MQTT does support authentication. In this scenario, we can do, so let's just do auth here, we can do certificate based authentication, you can do Active Directory, you can do OAuth to at least ensure and verify that these devices are who they say they are. We already talked about inspecting the traffic through there. And then, you know, if you, if you think about it, we can do things like topic validation and payload validation as it goes through the proxy. Say your payload is typically 100 bytes, and this particular time it comes in at like 400K, well, something suspicious might be happening. And then on the back end, this, if we just do our little uh, dotted line here, this would be your IO, IoT um, infrastructure or your IoT uh, platform. And so this being a pool on the back end, we can then do you know, what we've done for since the beginning, load balance your MQTT brokers on the back end, um, making sure that the particular device information is getting to the proper MQTT broker on the back end. 
And then, uh, let's see, coming off here, let's just, this would be your analytics. You know, your stats, your analytics um, type of controller here to then gather all of the information on there. In Big IP, in version 13, we do have an MQTT profile. And so you would select that profile within Big IP, and then you can also use some iRules processing on those MQTT packets as it passes through uh, the, Big I, the Big IP. Uh, we talked about TLS offload, we talked about authentication. It's also, you get your layer four network firewall within Big IP, and also your distributed denial of service protection with all of those IoT botnets out there. You're gonna need that sort of uh, security right there in your strategic point of control of the data center to protect this, the server side, the back end side um, of your infrastructure. And then a couple other things just to keep in mind um, as you're going through this, 18, yeah, 1883 is the MQTT port. And then for the TLS part of MQTT, that's 8883. Big IP is a default deny device. So as you're creating that MQTT profile, ensure you have your 1883 and 8883 ports open and available to pass that MQTT traffic. And also one last thing we can do is the protocol normalization or protocol uh, conversion. Say you wanna go binary to text or text to JSON, depending on what's required on the back end. we can even do that within the big IP device. So lighting up how IoT and specifically MQTT, the IoT protocol works on the big IP platform. If you like this video, subscribe to Dev Central's channel here. Subscribe to all of our videos. And I'm Peter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the community.